guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to cure your DTF transfers in your heat press. So this is a little hack if you want to get around using a curing oven, or if you don't have one, or if you're just getting started and you're trying to look for an alternative way, you can use your heat press. So this video is going to show you step-by-step -step how to do that. All right, so you are going to print your transfer on your Prestige A3 Plus DTF printer just as you normally would. So the transfer will come out, the ink will be wet, and you will then go ahead and apply the curing powder, the hot melt powder, the same way you normally would as if you were going to use a curing oven. The only difference, and of course you wanna make sure you get all that excess powder off there, it needs to be completely coated, but you don't want a bunch of excess powder um, on there. So you're looking for you know a nice powder level layer there. Now, instead of using the oven, you can use a heat press. I would suggest if you're gonna do this, um, that a swing away heat press where the top platen can come straight down is best. Now look, you wanna make sure that your oven, the top platen, is hovering. It should not be touching that um, your transfer. So if you use a pressing pat pillow, you can actually elevate it a little bit and then let it hover there at about 325 degrees for between two and three minutes. So you can see I have about an inch of space between the bottom of the top platen and where the DTF transfer is. So at about the one minute mark, when you have about one minute left, check and see what it looks like. And if you have an orange peel type look, you're done. If you have any powdery substance, you want to continue to um, allow it to melt. And then you're gonna use your transfer just like you normally would. So you can get your shirt or your other garment and you can um, press it right back onto the shirt. Now again, make sure you adjust your um, heat press because your press is gonna be at too much pressure for you based on you know how you had it sitting for when you were curing. Um, but adjust the pressure and then you will be able to put that transfer directly on your shirt. So in this case, we just applied um, the transfer, a pocket, si pocket position transfer, and uh, pressed it on there for you know 15 or so seconds, covering with a Teflon sheet the first time that we pressed, and then after the transfer was added, I peeled off the transfer um, cover and then I repressed with a T-seal. So I really like the T-seal. I use, I use it with my white toner printer um, also, but I use it for DTF as well because it really gets the transfers into the fibers of the shirt and gives you um, a, a really good press. You do wanna make sure that you leave the T-seal on there for about five seconds before you peel it off. Um, and then that's it, you are done. You can see these um, DTF transfers are you know, firmly into the shirt, stretchy, they don't crack. It's, it's a really good um, quality, great color and everything. And um, so it is possible to do DTF transfers without an oven if you're just starting out. A heat press is a great alternative. 